I've never done a mountain group ride. You guys could set the president, so you... <laughs> if I never do it again. If I never do it again, it's all your fault. <laughs> Yeah. These will be the benchmark. I reckon kids well past the warranty. Oh, hundred yeah. Lovely. Right, it's the day after the last video, which was patron ride uh, out at Tarlin Trails. Uh, I have retained four of said patrons and they've come out for a mountain ride. This is a risky one, a group ride in the mountains on a route that I haven't done before. We are currently on Jocks Road, uh, just next to Loch Calata. Stunning place. Um, and Calata Lodge and we're heading up to Cairn Bannock. That's kind of our minimum uh, goal. It's uh, up there. Uh, but there is an opportunity where we could then traverse over to the top of Loch Nagar and come back. I've done Loch Nagar from the other side, um, so we might be able to do it from this side, but if we're not feeling it, we'll, uh, we'll just do Cairn Bannock. So we have a slight discrepancy today. We have two regular bikes and three e-bikes. I think the old uh, regular bikes will be the bike of choice overall. But I am being proven wrong right now. <laughs> oh, I fucked it as well. It's too busy laughing at you. Right, so we've traversed a good bit here up above Loch Calata, and now we're heading round, cornering up this way, and I think we're hooking up. That might be Cairn Bannock right there. Wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that might actually be Cairn Bannock. Uh, I'll put it in the screen if it is or not. Uh, and then we've got Jocks Road is on the other side. And that will take you all the way down to Glendall and eventually down towards, well, not actually to Dundee, but Dundee direction. Right, so we're just skirting around this unpronounceable uh, mountain here to get to Cairn Bannock, which is back there. And we read that there was a plane crash on it. And sure enough, there's some wreckage there. It looks more like space debris. Yeah, it might be. Might be. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's... Elon, Elon. That's the latest SpaceX. Look at that, that's where it landed, isn't it? Yep, right on that, yeah. I think technically that wasn't a landing. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a jet. That's a jet, isn't it? That's the fans yeah, inside. Yeah, the fans in there. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> Look at that. Nice landing. Impeller. Well, not impellers. Oh, oh they are the impellers. Anyway, I didn't think for a second it was a jet. That's worth a fair, fair whack. You think so? Yeah. yeah. We'll just scrap it in on the way down, shall we? Yeah. Uh -huh. Karn and Takersvog means the rocky hill of the big priest. Right, I couldn't actually pronounce that, so that's how you say the name of this hill here. Uh, and this jet engine is from RAF Canberra uh, from 1956, and it is a Rolls-Royce Avon engine. And that's all I remember from reading up stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, the wreckage is spread all around the summit like like every uh, compass direction and it's spread over a distance of 600 meters by 600 meters <sighs> right so we have now come round that one that I can't pronounce there's more wreckage up that way, uh, according to Jay. Uh, Simon's been up this way as well, and they've kind of done it every way, but the way that we're doing it today. Correct. That's good. Uh, that is Cairn Bannock, the one that we were kind of originally intending on doing. We still don't know what we're doing yet. Uh, the one behind it is Broad Cairn, and then the other side is the Pony Hut, uh, and then the streak of lightning descent down to Loch Mick, 
lock might have been down there. There's a do lock just there as well. And then up that way is Loch Nagar. So we've done previously been up that way down to Loch Mick and I've also been from there down to Loch Mick. Right, decision has been made. We are going to go back the way now, but we're going to go up and over the unpronounceable mountain and see if we can see some more plane wreckage. Uh, Cairn Bannock just looks a bit uh, flat and uh, Simon's uh, e-bike's packed in. So Loch Nagar would be quite an effort on a on a dead e-bike. So uh, I think we'll still have a pretty good time heading up and over this one. Is this the top or is the other one the top? Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. There's a plane here. Well, sorry. Had to tap both. Well, it didn't take uh, long to find the wreckage, or more of it. There's a bit of a wing. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oof. Honestly. I feel that people have taken bits and put them in here, yeah. do you think? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it landed conveniently there. I think it's been placed here. There you go, there's some hydraulics for the landing yeah, gear. Maybe. Or ailerons or something. Hard to tell. Right, we are at the top. Uh, no, the top was up there. Uh, I've tapped both these cairns, so I've got it somehow. <laughs> top of the unpronounceable one. Um, and yeah, we, we can see the peak of Loch Nagar there. Uh, let's just punch in. Looking pretty good, but just a little bit too far for today. Um, down more this way is towards Balata. We've got Balmoral Estate down here where the Queen used to live, but now she doesn't live, so it's the King. We might have seen the King in a helicopter the other day. Uh, and we follow it round this way. We've got Bray Mar down there, which is roughly where we started. We've got Ben Ann with the granite tours on it. Uh, I believe that's Ben Averst. Uh, really good fast flowing descent off of that one um, again don't quote me on these ones I believe that's Ben McDewey with Bray Reich just off to the back I'll get my finger out the shot Jesus. Uh, Bray Reich um, and then following round I don't know much off of these ones um, but where are we oh yeah so uh, right there there's my finger again <laughs> That's the top of Glen Shee. And then off in the background, just in the very distance, you can see Ben Moore above uh, Tyndrum, which is actually far, far closer to where I live. And then coming around this way, uh, Jock's Road will head over in the background uh, down to Kerritree, which I was just reminded of by the boys. Uh, aye, and then we've got uh, Cairn Bannock and Broad Cairn and uh, lock mech and all that down there. You'll see a bit more on the drone before I do anyway. Lunchtime. Right, before we descend proper, we're going to go and have a look at a wing that Simon found. There he is. <laughs> that's bigger. Yeah, that's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. That's a piece of Jesus. So I'm guessing that is the inlet duct yeah. for the for the jet. Yep. She wasn't going anywhere without this piece. No. <laughs> the bad stuff inside a wing. Yeah, that's all your mechanism for the ailerons and flaps. Right. Nice flaps. Well done. Hey! He's lowered the tone! He's lowered the tone! Scream if you want to go slower. Alright. You're on, you're on. I think we're going down here. Yeah, this is the one. 
Right. Let's see how she goes. <laughs> nice. Right, look, Carlotta down behind us. Oh, right, I think we're basically just sticking to this old fence line. Clearly not in use anymore. Oh, sweet. Oh. one here <laughs> and round Ooh. well this is definitely awkward not the best route to do for a group ride <laughs> I'm sure the boys will be fine I hope the boys will be fine Get a bit more chunk. Woo! Loose rock over hard rock. Favourite kind of anti grip. Oh, we berm in there. Oh, and a catcher on the inside. Nice. Technically, it wasn't a shortcut because I didn't touch the grass. Ah, <laughs> oh, this bit's real good. Oh, and now onto some proper solid rocks. The drone's off in one. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, terrible. Open. Oh, such a good bit. Proper bedrock. Lovely, loads of grip. And relatively smooth. Oh, try not to skid. And try not to puncture. That'll do the new. Woo! Everyone survived? Yeah. yeah. There, there was definitely some fucking awkward bits in there. Very awkward. Yeah, very. I had a uh, rim contact on the front and twice and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> we'll get the group. Well, there's a dog shit right there. Fucking oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the face is completely Oh, oh. <laughs> Awkward. Right, nice and awkward now. There we go. Nice view of Loch Caliton now. It's very much a different kind of section of the hill here. It's just as awkward though. Narrow in places. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go left. Go left. Nice. 
nice. Oh. Oh. Trying to relax at any stage here. Oh. <laughs> oh jeez, it got <sighs> it got fast. Yeah, relaxed. Should not have done that. Let's go faster and see if that fixes things. <laughs> oh. This bit should be easier. Pretty good bit of single track to be fair. In its own right. Oh, need a hop. Oh, man. Oh, loose. Oh, 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 almost lost it. Almost. Back it up. There we go. Oh, oh, narrowness. Very narrow. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <sighs> oh, easy now, easy, easy, easy. Ah. Right, I didn't know what to expect from today, and in some ways it was a little bit disappointing, in other ways it was it excelled what I thought. Uh, it was cool to see the plane wreckage, uh, just something a bit different. The hill was pretty boring itself, there was definitely some extremely difficult to ride sections, but in between those there were some really fun sections as well. And everyone got down in one piece and uh, I think we had a good time? Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. It was a proper adventure, definitely not recommended for a group ride of a group you don't really know. <laughs> but, uh, all worked out in the end. Ciao.